Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So here you can see this is the final output of our front-end application. So as soon as we are communicating with our front-end application, the back-end, there is a kind of couple of things going to happen, all right? So first of all, we are going to use our native login first, and then we are going to convert all these things to Cognito user as well as, right? And uh, we are exposing our APIs with the help of the two different ecosystems, just like, you know, uh, one is the REST API and another one is the GraphQL, right? While it comes to app module, we are going to build a kind of monolithic application first, then we are converting all these things to microservice. Then you can see like our uh, monolithic application is consists of the three main uh, module that is called user, catalog and transaction, right? And there are two additional module we are going to introduce. It's a kind of package you can say that is called third party packages and elastic source, which is going to help us to fulfill our, our application requirements, right? And user module, it's going to handle all the user operations, just like the user sign up, buyer, seller, etc., as a per operation purpose. And the catalog is only going to be helpful for our categories of the product and the products, etc. And transactions is going to handle our all the transactions between like uh, the creating card and creating stuff and etc. And uh, where it can be handled the uh, payment as well as, right? And third party packages are specifically, we are going to use some kind of uh, communication channels or uh, we are going to use our emails, messages, payments, and et cetera. All these things is going to come over here. As you know, our application is e-commerce application where source is a kind of extremely uh, essential feature of the application. So in that case, we are going to use Elasticsearch, which is going to make our source feature extremely easy, right? So rather than patching all, maybe querying the data from the database. And some of the third party packages we are going to use, that is maybe we are going to use email, SMS and payment. So where some providers we are going to utilize, that is SendGrid or maybe AWS SES or for SMS we are going to use Twilio and payment we are going to use the Stripe. Right. Once our monolithic application is completed and we have deployed in the production server, then after that we are going to split it up to our microservice where we are going to use uh, some microservices just like a user, catalog, transaction, and elastic source microservice. And all the microservices is going to talk with our uh, Apache Kafka uh, Steam where we are going to uh, register our, all these uh, microservices and we can just like uh, communicate with each other internally. And we are going to maintain some kind of like uh, authentication pattern also that is we are going to discuss in our microservice section. Design pattern, we are going to use clean architecture. So we will be build our application in layered architecture and we will follow this clean architecture pattern. Now let's discuss about the storage. So we are going to use this SQL for store the data and we are going to use some kind of the object storage that is called S3 for storing our files or our media stuff. When it comes to database design, so these are a couple of tables we have added right here, which is going to support us to achieve our business goal. It's an every tables has their own attributes. Those are the attributes we are going to discuss when we are designing our tables in the code, right? While we are performing our CRUD operation in the database, then we are going to take care of our Elasticsearch index as well as. So which is going to help us to query that specific data from our front end application. And finally, we are we have added here in this uh, shipping table also, which is we are uh, we have not covered this uh, DHL integration in our Node.js series, but in this series we are going to cover this one. So at least I can show you like you know how we can integrate our our shipping manifest or shipping stuff with our uh, third party integrations. So a user can directly book a kind of uh, delivery package uh, right there with the help of DHL or maybe Blue Dart or something like that. While it comes to the object storage, at the time we are going to use our S3 bucket. It's a kind of private bucket, which is you can gain the access from the, our web application with the help of our backend service. And uh, while we are communicating with our backend service, then backend service will generate some kind of the sign URL, sign upload URL then our web application can direct upload image and it can read the image with the help of cloud from distribution. Let's discuss about the service endpoint. So in our application, there are two types of user we can have. One is the user, normal user, which is potentially going to be buyer. And another one is a seller, right? Then user can sign up where user can create their account. User can log in, verify profile. User can, user can manage their cards and uh, user can become a seller as well as and user can view the orders user can view product, category, etc. right? And when user is becoming a seller, then the seller has the capability of managing products, managing categories, and user can manage transactions as well as, and user can view orders as well as. So these are the basic endpoints exactly we, are, we can have uh, in our application. 
but step by step if any other uh, further endpoints is going to be needed then definitely we are going to introduce based on our business logic all right so in the next episode we are going to work on setting up the environment and creating the project